Hi, my name is Leah Kratz, and I'm one of the co-authors of your financial accounting textbook. By now, hopefully you've read through chapter 8, and maybe you've thought about your top five most important things for the chapter. I've thought about mine. Take some time. Maybe talk with your friends, your classmates, or your professor. Find out what information is important to them. Compare. I'll give you my top five, and you can see how it compares to your top five. Neither is right or wrong, but what I hope is that you'll think about the material and how you'll use that material in this class and for the remainder of your accounting education. So here's my top five. For me, the fifth most important thing in Chapter 8 is the FOB point, or the free on board point. This is the point that indicates when title transfers from the seller to the buyer. In a transaction, the FOB point will determine when the seller records the sale and the accounts receivable, and when the buyer would record the accounts payable and the increase in the inventory. So when a transaction takes place, this is one of the items that's negotiated, the FOB point. And because it is so important, I rank it as number five. For me, the fourth most important thing in Chapter 8 is a periodic inventory system. Companies don't use periodic inventory systems as much today as in the past because of the advent of computers, but they are still utilized, especially in organizations that are small or that have small amounts of inventory. For a company that would use a periodic inventory system, if I would walk in and inquire what their ending inventory was or what the cost of goods sold was, they wouldn't be able to identify that information immediately. The information simply isn't maintained in that way. So at the end of the accounting period, the accountant must do two things. First, they must do a physical inventory count of what is on hand. From that, they're able to determine the cost of goods sold. When costs are incurred to acquire inventory throughout the course of the year, those costs are captured and maintained, but a running total of inventory is not. So the accountant will take the beginning inventory, which is known, all of the costs that have been accumulated to acquire new inventory, less the ending inventory that was counted during the physical count. That will give the accountant the cost of the goods sold. Again, beginning inventory plus purchases, less ending inventory. Now, one of the big benefits of a periodic inventory system is that it's very cheap to maintain, and companies do appreciate that aspect of it. Maybe the cost and the savings of maintaining a perpetual inventory system are worth not having all of the detailed information available throughout the course of the year. And for that reason, I list periodic inventory systems as number four. Probably not surprising, for me, the third most important thing in Chapter 8 is a perpetual inventory system. In a perpetual inventory system, the information about current balances in inventory and cost of goods sold to date are maintained. And this is maintained typically in an accounting system, a computerized accounting system. In a perpetual inventory system, the account is set up so that any time a purchase is made, the inventory account is increased accordingly. Also, any time a sale is made, the cost of that inventory is moved out of the inventory T account and into cost of goods sold. 
So at any point in time, it's easy to know what the current balance in inventory is in quantity and cost, as well as what the current cost of goods sold for the period is. Now this does certainly cost more, but the information available in help running an organization can sometimes be well worth that expense. And because it can be so important, I list this as number three. For me, number two is the definition of cost. Most assets are recorded, at least initially, at cost, but the definition of cost can vary by asset. For inventory, that asset is recorded at cost, which is defined as any of the normal and necessary costs needed to get that asset into position and into condition to be resold. So when you're thinking about inventory and you're thinking about the cost of that inventory, it's whatever normal and necessary costs were incurred to get that asset to you and into position and condition to be resold. Because this is so important, I place this as number two, which then of course brings us to the first item on the list, the most important item in chapter eight. So when I look at chapter eight and I think about the inventory balance on the balance sheet, one of the most important things that I think about is what's being communicated in that inventory balance. And that brings me to my first most important topic in chapter eight, which is the concept of lower of cost or net realizable value. In an organization, they will report their inventory balance at the lower of cost or the net realizable value, which is the amount expected to be received upon the sale less the cost of selling the items. This is because of the conservative nature of accounting. Now we can calculate net realizable value in a couple different ways, but regardless of which way is chosen, that net realizable value is always compared to the costs that were accumulated to acquire that inventory, and the lower of the two is what is reported on the balance sheet. Because this is so important, and because it um, really determines the balance that is reported on the balance sheet, I list this as the most important item in Chapter 8. So we have looked at a lot of different topics in Chapter 8, perpetual inventory systems, periodic inventory systems, how we accumulate costs, lower of cost or net realizable value, all of these different items are things that decision makers, un decision makers understand when looking at a balance sheet and specifically the inventory account, and you should know them too. So there's been a lot of great information. I hope it's making sense. I hope you're learning a lot, and we're getting ready to start Chapter 9 where we'll talk about even more topics related to inventory.